First up, New York regulator calls crypto an important potential alternative to the current financial system. And this is one of those things that would have blown my mind in 2017. If a regulator from New York and all their bit license shenanigans comes out and says, you know what? Cryptocurrency is a pretty good thing. We should really look into that. I would have lost my marbles, but here we are today. So this is actually Linda Lacewell, a New York Department of Financial Services superintendent, considers cryptocurrency a top-notch innovation. She talked about the importance for regulators to stand back, allowing entrepreneurs to lead innovations, especially in the crypto industry. I could not agree more. What a breath of fresh air. This person, Linda, must be an entrepreneur herself because there is no innovation coming by way of the banks. The banks should just step out of the way. The OCC said the exact same thing and just let innovation take its course. And that's all they got to do. Just get out of your own way and let us do all the good stuff. And you guys can just go back in the shadows. And it's a pretty lengthy uh, article. I'm just going to read this la this paragraph, which kind of blew my mind. And one sentence in particular. Linda states, so I think that crypto is very important as an innovation and as a potential alternative to some aspects of the financial system some aspects. The reason I like it is that it's organic. It's been developed and over time it has become more sophisticated. And I remember in 2017, we thought that the, the crypto market was going to go to the moon, but it wasn't so because we needed to lay all the track and get to where we are today. And that's why you got somebody who in, in New York is a regulator saying, you know what, it's grown over time and it's more sophisticated and we see the use cases. Further, she states, when you have the fidelities of the world, coming in, looking for some type of bit license from us, you know that things have really changed. We can't say it's on the fringe anymore. And that is exactly the main point. If you take a look at Fidelity with its 8 trillion assets under management, and they're telling these regulars going, look, we need a bit license because we really need to get into cryptocurrency digital assets. So like, hmm, that's interesting. You guys got a lot of money to uh, throw around. So maybe there's something to it. And also Ameritrade did the same thing. And we also have our darlings, which is Grayscale with their 2.2 billion assets. Actually, now it's all like 4.3. This is a uh, report from Q1 of 2020. And they talked about how, hey, the majority of our investments, 88%, came from institutional investors dominated by hedge funds. And that was the first quarter. So this one coming up, I mean, it's just, it's going bananas. Also, you have the Paul Tudor Jones, which Paul Tudor Jones, if you don't know, is one of those investment legends who really crushed it in the 80s, early 90s. And he came out and said, look, uh, as of May 8th, he states, I'm going to put 2% of total investments into Bitcoin futures, which people say, well, Bitcoin futures, what is that? It doesn't matter. The guy just said his name with Bitcoin. That's all people really really have comprehended so far and that's good for our space and then lastly we say we see somebody like microstrategy which is a open analytics platform and you know, data analytics and crunch the numbers and they and their ceo came up and said look uh we just bought twenty one thousand bitcoin in august and uh they now own 0.1 percent of all bitcoin the ceo stated look bitcoin is digital gold harder stronger faster and smarter and any money that has preceded it. It wasn't what he said, but it, he just didn't beat around the bush. And these are the types of things, especially this is a pretty good company. Uh, they probably took a lot of crunching of numbers and say, you know what looks pretty good? Bitcoin and cryptocurrency digital assets. Let's get into that. So when we start to talk about these things that you know the uh, institutions are coming and there's changes afoot, that is proof of what we want to see. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.